Hello, I'm Lori Cleaney and I'm the Director of Student Services for the Early County School System. I'm also a licensed professional counselor. I'm so glad you've joined us for today's wellness tips. And I challenge you to try some of the strategies we talk about in today's session. For today's calming strategy, I'm gonna be talking about mental rehearsal. This strategy can be used when you're aware of an upcoming event that may cause you stress or worry. So mental rehearsal consists of pinpointing the source of your worries and then coming up with strategies or tools that you will use to cope with if something goes, that you'll use to cope with something going wrong during the situation or event. And then you practice each of those scenarios in your mind until you feel more prepared. So mental rehearsal is a strategy that kind of helps you convince yourself that you are prepared. So a stressful event, um, an example of a stressful event that you might would use this strategy would be um, like taking a test or making a speech, giving a presentation, or if you're about to play in a big game. So th those are all things that you will know uh, ahead of time. And once you, once you realize that you're starting to worry about that event that's coming up, you try to pinpoint exactly what it is that's worrying you about it. And usually it's those uh, worst case scenarios, those what if this happens that our brain just so thoughtfully sends us those messages um, causing us to worry and feel unprepared. So what you do is you um, write those what worst case scenarios downs or those what ifs, whatever those messages um, are that your brain is sending you, you write them down and then you come up with a plan for each of them. And once you have a plan for each of them, then you're ready to start um, rehearsing the scene mentally. So the first step is going to be to imagine yourself at the scene relaxed so you're imagining yourself in the situation or at the event already relaxed. So it's of course a good idea to be doing your slow, deep breaths while you're imagining yourself in this at the scene. And then you're going to mentally rehearse each of those worst case scenarios in your mind and your plan, how it's gonna, how your plan is gonna work. You're just gonna go through those steps in your mind. And then last, you're just going to repeat those, uh, repeat the rehearsal as many times as necessary until you feel comfortable. So that's a lot of information. So I would like to give you an example. For my example, I'm going to talk about what I would do if I was preparing to give a presentation. So if I have an upcoming presentation, here's some examples of some um, worst case scenarios or some things that I might be thinking about um, that could go wrong during my presentation. So what if I stumble over some words when I'm getting started in my introduction? Um, what can I do? So that's something I'm worried about happening. Well, I could have a plan to just laugh it off and say, golly, I can't talk today and take a breath and just go right on with my presentation. Okay, so that's my plan for that scenario. Okay, my next scenario is, what if my slideshow doesn't work? All right, my plan is gonna be to have uh, copies of my presentation, uh, hard copies of my presentation um, and or uh, handouts for myself and for the audience to follow along with in case my slideshow doesn't work. So that's my plan for that. The next scenario is, what if my microphone doesn't work? Because I'm, I'm presenting to a large crowd. My plan will be to talk loudly until someone can fix the sound issue. Um, my next um, scenario would be, what if I just totally lose my train of thought during my presentation? And my plan will be to have um, my presentation notes with me and a bottle of water. So just to stop um, when I lose my train of thought and say, excuse me for a moment, go take a drink of my water, take a deep breath 
and then refer to my presentation notes so that I can pick back up where I left off and get back on track. And then um, the last scenario might be like, what if my voice starts um, cracking, like my mouth's getting dry and it's similar to the previous plan. My plan here would be to um, excuse myself or to take a sip of water and um, then take another deep breath and get back started on my presentation. So those are some different scenarios that might would go wrong um, and with my example and then the plan that I have for each of those scenarios. And your plan can be the same if um, even in though the scenario is different as long as it's something that would um, help you overcome or cope with if that bad thing did happen. So when you're doing your mental rehearsal, you're just going to play that through in your mind like you're actually going, going to think about or imagine yourself stumbling over those words and then, you know, you excusing yourself, taking a sip of water and um, or laughing it off and and um, picking right back up where you left off. You, so you're going to imagine the scenario actually happening and then yourself um, following through with your plan that you have. And you're going to do that as many times as necessary until you feel um, prepared and more relaxed and you feel ready for this upcoming stressful event or difficult situation. This is a great strategy to use for combating fear or worry for an upcoming event or situation. In my example, I gave five what if scenarios or five things that I was worried about um, happening during my presentation. You may only have one thing that's um, worrying you about an upcoming event that you need to make a plan for, or you may have more than five, you may have 10. Um, the number doesn't matter, it's just whatever it is that's worrying you, come up with a plan um, to cope with any of those bad possible things happening. And then you're ready to start your mental rehearsal and get prepared for your upcoming event. Thank you for joining today's session. And I hope you'll stay tuned for our upcoming sessions.